are very um, honored to have next with us, Ms. Carolyn Crampton. As my last two viewers, Carolyn also is a long-term shipyard artist. And hopefully Carolyn's picture will come to us soon. Hi, Carolyn, how are Hi. you? Sorry, it's a lot of tech. <laughs> it's a lot of a tech, lot of tell tech. me about it. We've been sweating <laughs> over this tech the entire afternoon before we are able to be in the stream here. It is not without challenges for sure for everybody. Yeah, it's a lot to learn. Yeah, That's so um, anyway, Carolyn will, would like to show us some things that she is working on and tell us a little bit about how she works, um, how she paints. Um, Carolyn has, is a very interesting artist. She creates these very surreal fantasy paintings that all have animals in them and especially rabbits. So Carolyn, do you want to tell us a little bit about your rabbits and how you came to paint rabbits and other animals in these settings. Yes, I'll have to I'll have to tell you I can um, I was prepared to share my screen and I can do that later if people want to pop over there or pop back here um, to see the actual works. Right now I only have uh, one on my desktop here um, because I'm doing this from home. Um, Actually, the series of my still lifes with animals, I did paint most of them here. I guess some of them I paint, I sort of did parts of them at the studio, uh, but because the rabbits were here, I have two pet rabbits and uh, they're very sleepy in the afternoon. So it became very easy to paint them when they're kind of sleepy. Um, and I like, I have good light here. Uh, whereas the studio I have in the, I like to paint in the afternoon and the evening and it's very, uh, my light is, is a little too bright there. However, I am doing the big ones right now. I'm working on these really big, I'm calling them variant world. And they're a whole series of animals kind of entering the human, uh, environment. And I have them on the shipyard site. Um, I thought it was interesting when the pandemic started that was happening for real. Like uh, they were finding mountain lions more in the neighborhood. We had a coyote in downtown San Francisco, bears coming in. Uh, and it was just a funny echo that it's just odd that I made all these paintings with no humans. And then it started to come true. So it was a little, a little freaky there. That is uh, a little freaky, and I think artists all, all often have kind of premonitions and show us things that are maybe in the works, but are not happening quite yet. And that's why artists are so important. So Carolyn, um, our master in the background has enabled you to screen share now, if you would like to show oh, cool. us some let's, other images, yeah, let's get that is not possible. Here. I'm going to try on this desktop too here. Now, do you see a painting over here? We see the bear in the office. Yes. Okay. So there's that bear. So, you know, I have had two careers my whole life. I've always had to work to support myself. And I used to work in a lot of offices that look like this. And so I was thinking, and often late night, all by myself. So I was thinking that this kind of reminds me of I'm working in the back in this cubicle and this animal came in. I thought it was very scary. Um, other people might not find it so scary. It's kind of retro. And then, so these are all from that series. Let's see, here's the, um, the mountain lions. I can zoom in a little. And you can see they're in a redwood forest there. And then it's kind of foggy. And then there. So the idea was this, I was hiking in the forest maybe and coming back to my car. Um, now I did make a video on which no one has seen on my, I put it on my website and on the shipyard site that where I'm, I'm showing these and zooming in so you can get a better idea of them. Um, here are the wolves. Um, so again, this is supposed to be a very scary, that's supposed to be a window. Um, it's supposed to be a very scary landscape out there. And here's more of that landscape over there. And then, I don't know, a little mysterious, very, very. When my sister saw this, she said, oh, those are our chairs. So those were our chairs and we had this linoleum. So I don't really know what's going on. You know, I spent my whole career painting stuff like, um, oh, here's the alligator. I painted still live, sort of like these, the horses you saw behind me earlier. 
you know, where I just light something, set it up, paint. Now I'm just doing this crazy stuff, and I, I it's scary because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm working on a painting in the studio that I'm really excited about, but it's a figure painting, and it's just scary. Scary, scary. So here's one of the um, still lives I was showing. What's a detail? It's a detail of it. So there's George. So this, I set all this junk up. Again, my sister said I should paint stuff or photos, photograph stuff and then get rid of it. That hasn't worked, but I have been painting it. Haven't gotten rid of it. There's another. Does anybody know what this is? Very old thing. Um, now I have a, concurrently with this uh, open studio, I have this show launching in Los Gatos. So these paintings are all available and they're all on sale, but right now they're, they're not from the shipyard, but they'll probably be back. So this one I did paint in the studio and people that came to open studio might have seen this. I had this whole pile of books. Uh, I had the, I had just finished when we had open studio. So I left the, uh, setup up. Oh, there's that one. So this one, um, again, painted at home with my collection of toy horses. There's George Washington, uh, Dale Evans on trigger. And there's a Lone Ranger on Tonto's horse. I don't have all the right animals. And there's, of course, Gracie and George. That is super cool, Carolyn. Um, thank, thank you so much for sharing all these uh, pictures with us. And um, we will now go on to our next artist to be interviewed. And I would encourage everybody to visit Carolyn in her studio on Zoom right now. So she, you can talk to her more. You can see more of her pictures. and pick her crazy brain about what's going on in there and what, she, what else she's seeing coming. I, I know there's a lot of people have premonitions right now and I oh. think we should listen to our artists. <laughs> anyway, you, we'll, we'll visit Carolyn yes. on her Zoom and visit her store where you can see the pictures. You can also Zoom, I mean, Zoom as in magnet on the pictures um, in the store. So thank you very much, Carolyn. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.